Hi everyone. In this video, we will talk a little bit about uh, Express Router. Okay, so this is the previous video only, and what we are doing is, in this example, you can see we are importing routes and we are registering that routes to the app instance. So whenever forward slash is coming, it is actually moving this request to the routes, and what we have dis added in the routes, these are all the requests we have added, right? So we can create a multiple routes here. Like I can say that this is user route. So I can just call it as a user.ts. And there can be user.js and there can be another routes we can add. Uh, Profile.js. Consider something like this. And he from here also will export router. And I can say this is my profile okay so i have now have two different route files so what i need to do is i will be importing both here it is user routes okay which i'm getting from the user and there can be another routes i mean we'll be using es6 so just try to keep uh, using latin const this is profile route okay and then now you can register them okay like here we have the profile route so how we divide it now we can just pass any one of them right so we can create one parent route from there and we can just divide here we can have one index dot js and here we can just uh, define router dot use so whenever the request is coming to forward slash user then we can use a particular route Whenever the request is coming with user, then use user route. Or whenever the request is coming for profile, then use profile route. Right, and we are just exporting the same router. We can just make it simple. Route, we don't need it there, route. Okay, and we are exporting this, so we just need to import index.js now. So here, these are this is the root route, so we can just pass these root routes here. So on the forward slash, it will just check uh, these two different routes. Now it will decide, okay, if you are hitting forward slash user, then it will take you to the user routes. If you are hitting forward slash profile, then it will take you to this route okay this is just a variation how we can create a sub route from the parent route and in these routes you can define the http get put post delete like here we have written here in this instead of rendering the template you can just uh, send some kind of a json data some payload instead of doing redirect you can just create some data in the service so till now we haven't talked about how we are going to persist the data right we just talked about how we are rendering the templates from the server. So we can just create uh, some folder controllers and we can also create some services. Okay, the controllers are nothing but uh, here we will actually have some functions. So consider that uh, here we can say See hello function I initially have here. Okay, and it is returning some data. So here we are talking about uh, Express Router and we are trying to run the application. You can see that we have created two different routes, profile routes and user routes and we registered both of these on this common router 
router dot use uh, whenever the request is coming for forward slash user user routes will be uh, invoked all the methods and in the user route we have the http get put post delete all these methods we can define instead of rendering these templates uh, we can just uh, talk to a particular controller and then we can get the data from the services that is the future picture that we are going to create a controllers and we are going to have a services available in our application services will talk to database they will feed the data into the controllers and then the routes can talk to the controllers like simple you can create these control methods or you can just simply say uh, you can say get data okay here you can also access the request response here or here you can just say let's uh, simply here we can just say return data something right so how we are going to get this in the routes you can just import the controllers so here const controller this is how we import and export modules okay in this controller now we can use these controller methods to actually return the data const data equal to controller dot get data and what we can do is response dot status 200 and we can just set json and here we can send message something like this okay now I mean, we are just talking about the flow from routes we are actually calling one controller and this controller can be actually returning some asynchronous data right it can be a simple asynchronous function reading some api call or reading the data from the file or reading the data from the database get data right this can again call one particular service method and can return the data from there that depends on how we are writing a logic right so this is the basic flow in these controllers in these routes we are not going to write whole the, all the logic because there will be a database calls will be required like if we are using mongodb then mongoose.find we will get data we will do some transformation and then that data will come to your controllers to return that to the client here then we can just set response.status.json here you can specify a particular status code and you can return it or you can also use this next function like if you are doing some asynchronous task and if you are getting any error then you can just do a next error and you will have some middleware already created which should take care of these errors which are coming from the APIs okay